ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! Hello everyone! I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. At ako po si OJ Serkinia, and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We searched all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Dito sa K-Check, titingnan natin kung gaano katalas at katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Anja is a geology student at UP Diliman who likes crocheting and reading. Sent is a third-year anthropology major who likes to sleep a lot and pet random cats in UP Town Center. Kyra is a second-year Bachelor of Public Administration student. She loves everything about fashion and is currently taking fashion school classes. Last but not least, Lester is an ex-philosophy student from UPLB and is now a history major in UP Diliman. He loves to watch various documentaries and read history-related articles. During his free time, he plays volleyball and or performs calisthenics exercises. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First is Professor Wendell Kapili of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. He's followed by Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And finally, Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Let's begin. Anja, in which province can you find Mayon Volcano? Batangas. Male. The correct answer is Albay. Sent. What role did Pierce Brosnan play in the films Golden Eye and The World Is Not Enough? The correct answer is James Bond. Kyra, in elementary science, what do you call the amount of matter that an object contains? Water. <laughs> Male. The correct answer is mass. Lester. What is the northernmost province in the Philippines? Batanes. Okay, check. Back to you, Anja. Which actress portrayed Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter movies? The correct answer is Emma Watson. Sent. What do you get when you multiply the length and the width of a rectangle? Area. Very good. Okay, check. Kyra, Jakarta is the capital of which country? Indonesia. Kate. Lester, who played the role of Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean? I'm John Depp. Kate. Back to you, Anja. In science, what is the basic quantity that describes the capacity to do work? Force. Male. The correct answer is energy. Sent. In what continent can you find the cities of London and Paris? Europe. Kate check. Kyra, Kate Winslet played the role of Rose in what 1997 blockbuster movie? Who doesn't know the Titanic? Lester, in geometry, what is the term for half of a circle? Diameter. Male. The correct answer is semicircle. And that's it for the first round, the K-Check Paramihan round. Of course, nagkunod pa ng konting discussion kung ano ba talaga ang capital ng Indonesia o hindi. 
But na-clarify na natin, hindi pa effective ang change ng capital ng Indonesia sa mga posibleng magtatanong, right? right? At this point, it's still Jakarta. Right? It's still Jakarta. At mahalaga talaga yan sa research, no? That you verify the facts that you're sharing with people. But now, let's go back to our competition and let's ask one of our panel of experts to share his thoughts, no? About... The ongoing competition. Professor Ricky, what do you think of our competition so far? Uh, medyo okay naman. Hindi masyadong pangit yung performance. Hindi rin sobrang ganda. So, laban lang tayo. Right. Meron ka bang katanungan para sa ating mga contestants? Uh, try natin kay Anja. Uh, Anja, ano yung, yung, yung major mo? Paki-share sa, sa amin kung ano mga ginagawa doon. Anong importance doon sa lipunan natin? Um, so, geology po, like how the earth works. So, ang ginagawa po namin ngayon, we look at like the landforms and predict po kunwari kung ano nangyari, paano naging ganon yung landforms. And sa disaster risk reduction management, dun po helpful yung geology. So, we know naman Philippines, like madaming um, earthquakes and typhoons. So, yun po. Oh, at ang nanalo sa ating Miss Geology pageant ay si Anja. Right. But in any case, <laughs> gusto ko namang malaman, kanino ko pa iniisip to eh, bakit ba gustong gusto ni Sent na magpet ng strange cats sa UP Town Center? Sent? Um, kasi po, pag napapadaan ako, madaming pusa na chubby and sobrang cute. So, hindi ko lang po mapigilan na ipet sila. Naku, Sent, maraming bagay sa mundong ito ang kailangan pigilan mo ang sarili mo to pet, no? Pero ang dapat mo hindi pigilan ay ang pagsagot sa ating mga tanong. Balikan natin yung current ranking ng ating mga contestants. Anja has a total of zero points. Sent has 20 points. Kyra has 10 points. And Lester has 20 points. Malayo pa ang tatakbuhin ng ating kompetisyon at kayang-kaya pa nilang humabol. And I'm sure yung mga viewers natin nakikisagot din yan habang sumasagot ang contestants. Audience, how did you do against our contestants? At ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? That's next here on K-Check! ang ating karunungan check. Ang standing ng mga contestants natin, Anja with 0, Sent with 20, Kyra with 10, and Lester at 20. Professor Neil, anong palagay mo sa mga contestant natin ngayon? Well, tingin ko slowly but surely ang mode. Then hopefully, bibili sila at magpapakitang gilas sa susunod na mga rounds. Meron ka bang gustong tanungin sa uh, ating contestant na well, si Lester? Well, sa apat na contestants, gusto kong magtanong kay Lester. Galak na galak ako, nalilipat siya sa aming undergraduate program. So, ang tanong ko, bakit gustong gusto mong maging BA History Major? Um, actually, po nung nag-upcut po, yun po talaga yung first choice ko po, um, BA History. Pero unfortunately po, nag-qualify po ako sa LB, BA Philo po. Pero yun po, nag pa rin naman po ako na makalipat po sa UPD Liman and take Bachelor of Arts in History po. Gusto ko po talaga yung history kasi po, um, naniniwala po ako, nakikita ko po yung sarili ko sa academe na nagtuturo po. Kasi naniniwala po ako ng pag-aaral ng kasaysayan ay makakatulong para sa ating sariling pagkakakilala at mas mapabuti ang kalagayan natin bilang isang bayan po. Wow. wow! Well said, well said. Oh, yes, so hindi pa Sal ano kapapasok pa lang yan, kapapasok pa lang yan sa program at sigurado ko after three or four years, lalong gagaling pa si Lester. Right? Yes, congratulations. Well, Prof. Neil, we'll see if Lester will make history on our show. Right? And now we're moving on to the next round where you guys can make a mark. And this round is called K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points, pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya sa inyong apat, contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. <music> Let's begin. 
Let's begin. Question number one. Which ancient art of healing involves the insertion of thin needles through the skin at strategic points of the body? Lester. The answer is acupuncture. Acupuncture, yeah. Lester. K-check. Question number two. Which automobile magnet popularized the moving assembly assembly line and thus greatly increased the output of the manufacturing? Conveyor Lester. belt. Conveyor belt. Mali. The correct answer is Henry Ford. Question number three. You're the one I want, which is one of the best-selling singles of all time, is a duet by John Travolta and which late singer? Correct answer. She just passed away recently. Olivia Newton-John. Question number four. Which six foot four guard of the Utah Jazz in the NBA is the grandson of Marcelina Tuliao of Bacolor, Pampanga? Correct answer. Jordan Clarkson. Question number five. What is the title of the 2004 movie starring Brad Pitt and Orlando Bloom that tells the story of the war between the Greeks and the Trojans? Hmm. Correct answer? Troy. Question number six. We're midway this round. Please give me an answer if you can. On the TV show The Big Bang Theory, which main character is played by actor Jim Parsons? Lester. Sheldon. Cooper. Sheldon Cooper. K check. Question number seven. Which colony was handed over by the British to the Chinese on July 1, 1997? Hong Lester. Kong. Hong Kong. Your history background shining through. K-check. Question number eight. Which actor played the title role in the 1976 Oscar Best Picture winner, Rocky, and the 2006 comeback film, Rocky Balboa? Lester. Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone? That is the correct answer. K-check. Question number nine. In May 1521, what country colonized Mexico? Spain. Lester. Spain. History through and through. K check. Question number 10. Come on, guys. Which actor played the good man with no name in the classic Western film The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? Correct answer, Clint Eastwood. Final two questions. You can still make it. What is the Russian name for a set of wooden dolls of decreasing size placed one inside another? Daruma, yes, sir. Daruma dolls. Mali. The correct answer is Matryoshka. Final question. Which South American country has, name, has a name that means Little Venice? The correct answer is Venezuela. And that's the end of our second round, the K-Check Pabilisan round. Attorney Gabby, it seems like one really pulled away in that round, and it's Lester. Ano masasabi mo sa ating ibang contestants? Well, they will have their time to shine in the coming portion of our challenge today. Absolutely. All is not lost. Now, Professor Wendell, what can you ask our contestant, Kyra? Uh, I'm interested about 
uh, the organizations of Kaira because she's a student, akala ng mga tao, she's just studying. Uh, to be a well-rounded student, you have to have extracurriculars. Kaira, what do you, what organizations are you involved in? Um, currently, I'm affiliated po with UPCSA, the UP Chinese Student Association. So, as a Filipino Chinese student here in UP Diliman and in Metro Manila in general, in Philippines, uh, the organization was very welcoming for me within the UP community for uh, for me to uh, adapt to be. Uh, uh, to be comfortable with the people that I'm with. So I'm really very thankful for that organization, for being a very friend, friendly org that accepts me fully, academically helps me, and also culturally um, joins me with whatever I do here in UP. They really need to be, you really need to be immersed in the UP experience. Definitely, huh? definitely, Attorney Gabby. I actually envy students who belong to orgs. I really enjoy being part of these orgs, right? And I hope you guys will do your orgs proud by doing well in our competition today. <laughs> that's Let's, the challenge. That's the challenge. Let's go back to our rankings. Anja has zero points. Sent has 10 points. Kyra has 10 points. And Lester, umalagwa ka with 110 points. Word for the day, umalagwa. At sana umalagwa na rin ang iba nating mga contestants. So may chance pang humabol ang hahabol. And at this point, it's still anyone's game. But this time, our contestants will face their challenge that will be the toughest yet. Dahil ang ultimate pagalingan round, susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back again. Ito po ang mga standing ng ating mga contestants today. Anja with zero, Sent with ten, Kyra with ten, and Lester with a umaalagwang 110 points. Yeah, pero hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil tutungo na tayo sa ating final round. And here in the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, we will know who among the four ang aangat at kung sino ang mapapako sa kanila mga pwesto. In this round, correct answers are worth 30 points and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. So, sa inyong apat, handa na ba kayo? Okay. Kung handa na kayo, Attorney Gabby, let's, let's begin! At nandito na tayo sa ultimate pagalingan round kung saan hindi lamang ang mga contestants ang magpapagalingan ng mga sagot, kundi ang mga panel of experts natin ay magpapagalingan din ng tanong. Umpisahan mo na, Prof. Wendell. Which Filipina soul singer, rapper, record producer, actress, dancer, and presenter of mixed Jamaican and Visayan descent is also the first Filipino recording artist to chart in the United States? Her debut single peaked at number 44 at the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Who is she? Yes, Sam. Jaya. She is also known as the daughter of veteran actress, singer, comedian, uh, Elizabeth Ramsey. Her name is Jaya. K-check. K-check. <laughs> Moving on, Professor Ricky. What type of natural numbers can only be divided evenly by themselves and one? Lester. Prime numbers. K-check. Now go to Professor Neil. Sa anong lungsod ginagawa ang taunang Peña Francia Festival? Okay, ang lungsod na ito ay matatagpuan sa kabikulan. Ang tamang sagot ay Naga City. Okay. Back to you, Professor Wendell. This is an interesting question. What is the title of the 1937 film 
starring Fernando Po Sr. and Rosa Del Rosario, siya yung unang Darna, that featured the first underwater kissing scene in the history of Philippine cinema. Yes, Lester. Jezebel. Mali. The correct answer is Zamboanga. Hey, bro, freaky. Which part of the peripheral nervous system is responsible for the movement of food along the digestive system? Ang tamang sagot ay autonomic nervous system. Hirap naman ang tanong, Professor Neil. What does the acronym POTUS stand for? Yes, and President of the United States. Ang tamang sagot ay President of the United States, K-Check. K-Check. Professor Wendell? Which American-born Greek soprano is considered the most renowned and influential opera singer of the 20th century? Also known as uh, the lifetime partner for for many years of, of the millionaire, the Greek millionaire, uh, Aristotle Onassis. Her name is Maria Callas. Professor Ricky? Another hard question. How many termination codons are, or nonsense codons are there? Yes, Anja. Three. Three? What's the answer? Three. Three. Okay, check. Spell. <laughs> Ang hirap talaga ng mga questions ni Professor Ricky. Nahihirapan na rin akong sumagot sa mga tanong ni Prof. Ricky. Halong Bay, isang UNESCO World Heritage Site, ay matatagpuan sa anong bansa sa Timog Silangang Asia? Lester? Pilipinas. Bali? Ang tamang sagot ay Vietnam. Vietnam. Correct. So this is our last round of questions. Professor Wendell. Okay. Which Filipino professional boxer rose from obscurity to become the first Asian to win the World Flyweight Championship? Yes, Anja. Manny Pacquiao. Uh, wrong answer. I will finish the question first before you answer. So the first Asian to win the the World Flyweight Championship and earned the reputation as one of the greatest flyweight boxers in history. Yes, Sen. Nunito Dunayri. Wrong answer. Uh, he is one of the greatest boxers actually in history and this was in the 1920s. His name is Pancho Villa. Hindi pa tapos ang boxing. May dalawa pang tanong. Prof. Ricky. Oh, sige, dalian natin. <laughs> Vinegar consists of what molecule that is commonly known as a weak acid? The correct answer is acetic acid. Hirap naman yan. Prof. Neil, last question. Itong huling tanong, kayang-kayang sagutin to ng mga henerasyon ninyo. What is the best-selling manga series in history? Yes, Kyra. One Piece. Ang tamang sagot ay One Piece, K-Check. Very good, and that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Lester, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 110 points. We will see Lester again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. And thank you to Anja, Sent, and Kyra for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendell, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is OJ Serkinia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another... K-Check! K -check.